Hello and welcome to the video. Today I will be showing a brew of a Belgian triffle. Here is the recipe. As you can see this is for 15 litres. For that reason I'll be using the smaller pipe for the grain father. The whole recipe is actually repeated in the uh, YouTube video description so don't worry about having to make notes of this here. Here is the first mock-up that I've done of the label for this beer. Um, I'm going to call this Triple Treat, and a treat it will be at just over 9% in alcohol. So as always we start with the mashing process, and here I am gradually introducing the grain to the stripe water. The important thing here is don't rush, gradually add your grain and stir as you go. Don't just stir at the top, stir at the middle and stir at the bottom also. I find it very useful to hold the grain basket while I'm actually doing this stirring. I've been continually impressed about how a simple sink strainer uh, is very useful in the grain father brewing process because of how much grain it filters out, so I'll be using that here today as well. There are actually four mash steps to this beer. This will create some extra complexity which is very much desired in this style. The first step is 20 minutes at 60 degrees C, the second step is 20 minutes at 65 degrees C, the third step is 20 minutes at 69 degrees C, and then finally mash out for 10 minutes at 75. One of the first things I noticed during the mashing of this beer was that I was getting a fair amount of foam. Um, I'm not really concerned about this. Some people would like to skim it, but personally I just leave it alone. It's part of the beer, let it roll. While I'm waiting for my mash to complete, I've organised all of my additions for during the boil. For this brew, I'll be using clear candy sugar, as you can see on the screen at the moment. There is much discussion about the use of sugars in brewing and uh, many people are of the attitude that uh, you can just use standard sugar. Personally I much prefer the candy sugar. It doesn't have to be expensive, you can make it yourself, uh, but I firmly sit on the camp of actually using an inverted sugar. It can be normal raw sugar, it doesn't have to be candy, but use something better than table sugar. So the mash is now over and as you can see here the sink strainer has filtered out some of that grain. Very nice. So I've put the grain basket up now, ready for the sparge, and I've allowed some of the water to come out. The most important thing during the sparge is not to rush. Do a nice even sparge, and don't allow that water level to come any further than those two clips you see on the top. This is very important for improving and keeping your efficiency consistent. So, welcome to the hot break of the boil. This is where we really need to make sure that this doesn't boil over. Uh, obviously this is quite a short brew, uh, so there's no problems there, but we still need to control it. And I'm using a spray can with star sand, can be water of course, and I'm using my mash paddle. The important thing here is to clean the entire top before you start adding hop additions. After adding each addition, it's very important to stir the whole thing in and utilise those hops fully. So now we get to the stage of actually adding our sugar. And this candy sugar is in some lumps as you can see here. And really what I want to do before I actually introduce this into the brew is actually add some of the wort that I already have. Just to break this up and let it dissolve a bit before I actually tip the whole thing in. So in it goes now, and you can see that there are still some small lumps left, uh, but that's okay, because what we're going to do now is do a quick whirlpool, um, just to let the whole thing uh, go into the actual brew, and then we're going to go down to the bottom and just give those small lumps that are left a quick stir uh, in the hope that they won't burn. So on to the chilling process now. Uh, this doesn't take long at all with the grain father, thanks to that counterflow chiller. 
So we're all chilled down to the right temperature now and we're going to take this wort into our fermentation vessel and you'll see that I've actually got a new setup here today. Um, this basically allows me to do a hands-free splash into my fermentation vessel and I can tell you now this has worked very very nicely. It's a very simple construction, very easy to do. Um, it's just a case of having some hooks from your ceiling uh, which then actually come down to a small pad uh, which holds the uh, wall out pipe. I find this very handy because not only am I uh, now available to do other things rather than just hold this wall out pipe to splash it in, uh, but it's also kind of nice not having uh, shoulder burn the whole time <laughs> while uh, holding this as high as I can. So yeah, I'm very very happy with this new uh, setup. So, all in all, a very successful brew day. Uh, not only did I collect a little bit more than the 15 litres that I was hoping for, but also came very close to that gravity. I think it was about two points out, but I gained more than a litre extra, so I'm not totally dissatisfied with that. And because of that Mangrove Jack's uh, triple yeast, that will actually ferment down to just over 1,000. Um, every time I've brewed with it, I've had a result of 1,001. So this will uh, actually turn out to be 9.35% uh, beer. You can't be dissatisfied with that. So here is the triple now on the left of this picture with the heat belt and the temperature controller attached. And to the right you can see the director's bitter. So uh, the thing with this one is because it's Belgian, I'm going to play a little bit with the uh, temperatures and I'll be using that temperature controller to rise that up probably to about 25 by the end just to get those extra fruity esters. Here we are less than two hours after pitching and as you can see this yeast is not hanging around at all. Uh, I've got a nice uh, fermentation start already. As usual I didn't rehydrate this dry yeast, it just went in when I poured the wort into the actual vessel. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. If you feel inclined to do so and you did enjoy this then please give me that thumbs up, uh, like the video, it does help me for the future. Also if you haven't already then please do subscribe, there's plenty more of this coming, I've got uh, a lot planned and as my regular viewers will tell you I do do these videos very regularly. So till the next time, happy brewing!